Yeah, bang on target in that second T20 in Guyana. Picked up two wickets in his first over. Got Brandon King, very first delivery. Caught that extra cover. And it finds one of those fielders now. Off the mark, Brandon King and the West Indies. It starts off with a slower delivery. He too has his protection square of the wicket either side. A stifle appeal. I really like that move though to get Nicholas Puran in at number three and to, as you mentioned, keep that right left combination. What it does is that it forces Hardik Pandya to think twice about introducing Aksa Patel. Aksa Patel was really good yesterday. And miss. What he might be more inclined to doing is using Kuldeep Yadav. Hardik himself spoke about that combination that he and Kuldeep used in the past to get rid of Nicholas Puran. Brandon King in this series, Darren Ganga, averages 23 with a strike rate of 108. From what you've seen from him, what does he need to do to get that strike rate higher? Well, it's not about the strike rate, it's about him sustaining his innings a little bit more beyond the power play fees. Paul is for two. Thinking about three. Togs this one, but gets the boundary. Brandon King has been huffing. This time he gets the reward. Closing of the face. Maybe deceived a bit with pace off the ball. So he was into the shot a little too early. And that is what pushed him to going leg side. Swing already far before making contact with the ball. Luckily for him, it found the gap and it was with the win. Legs. Makes really good connection. Goes all the way from Brandon King. His first six off the innings. More convincing from Brandon King. Pace off the ball. He picked it. Didn't lose his shape, which is so important when you're on the attack as a batter. He was aiming offside. And he played it to perfection. Seven times he's bowled him, four times he's gotten him out. Just for an average of 10. So, pressure on Puran. Dances down the track. A little bit quicker from Kulip, 90 kph slider. Gets Nicholas Puran on strike. Another quicker delivery you know, from Kulip. I just wonder if he's gripping it all right. We've seen him bowl that delivery quite often in the IPL. Yuzvendra Chehel. <laughs> Greeted into the attack with a massive six of the bat of Brandon King to bring up the 50 for the West Indies. It's the kind of response that the West Indies wanted after the early loss of Kyle Mayer's Ian Bishop. This is very intelligent batting from uh, Brandon King and the West Indies. Short, wide, punished. He's got a long off, so if it's off stump, the length has to be a little bit fuller. Otherwise, he's got to be straight in his line with a fielder at deep mid-wicket. So Jahal, with his high standards, knows that was not great execution. Three, four, six, sixes. We're just into the final over of the power play. I think it's uh, been a counter attack that has taken India by a bit of a shock. The call is for two. And it's an easy two. Lele. 
I wonder how you'd feel if you're a West Indies fan. Watchful to finish that over from Brandon King. 71 for one. Call is for two immediately. And by the time Arshdeep Singh gathers, they're controlling this chase expertly. That is just superb timing. It has raced past Arshdeep, who stood no chance. And that's where Brandon King is so strong. Sometimes it has led to his downfall flashing outside the off stump. But for him, he'll say it's a high percentage option. Hardik Pandya wanted Ashdeep to dive. And it's easy from a West Indian perspective, and, and, and I know you're watching across the globe, but sometimes it's hard to think logically. But this is Kuldeep's third over, none for 12. Oh, yeah. Brandon King, as he goes forward in his career against the better teams, I believe, we were discussing it yesterday, going back to develop a, a wider range of stroke play. That's in the air. It is safe. Brandon King. In the air, in the gap. And four more. Important to note is that the two games India won were two games in which Nicholas Puran failed to have an impact. The premeditated might have seen him. He moved quite early. Brandon King pushed that one wider and a little bit quicker from Kuldeep. Would have been the googly as well. Absolutely. Once you minimize the damage that he can do, usually you're in a better position as a team. As a method of staying in the game. And sometimes the other bowlers are beneficiaries of that. No answers by the Indian bowlers. But Shahal to continue for his third. And from here on in, it just requires a measure of intelligent cricket. They're down the trap. Does he get enough? Yes, he does. What a way to bring up his seventh T20I half century, his first since the 2022 World Cup, and also brings up the 100-run partnership between these two. Magnificent stuff. Regal from King. And it's his third six in this half century. Every time Chahal has tossed it up, He's gone down the wicket. Nice and slow and some turn. A very watchful Brandon King had to delay slightly because of the pace of the delivery. And some reaction from the surface for the wristy. It is turn. Pace is important though. 45 of 29 on that occasion. Now, this is something that both teams will be looking to improve upon or to find a player in their top order, their top four, top five, who can bowl a few overs. Catch it! And still at Varma, the answer for India. Nifty footwork by Mukesh Kumar. Two runs the result. So, successful over. First in internationals from Varma, a 124 for two. Jahel. No run. 34 required. <laughs> nice, two is the call. Whoa, ho, ho. All you day.
Down and over. Long on. Wonderful shot. Brave shot from Brandon King. And just making it look quite easy with a nice flow of the bat. Not anxious in that swing because uh, he's well set, aware of the conditions. We haven't seen significant turn. So he could afford to hit the ball in that mid on region. More of them, King saving his best for last. And he'll be hoping taking the West Indies to a win and a series win. Yeah, just hitting under the ball, slug sweeping that one. He's grown in confidence with his leg side strokes. Conventional sweep, the slug sweep. Get it. Dropped it. Straightforward opportunity. Even for the part-time bowler with his catching skills, he'll feel he let himself down. Yeah, let off that could trigger a little bit of a slide. And exactly what India would have been searching for with the introduction of Tilak Varma. Maybe batters relaxing, taking things for granted. And rubbing salt into the wound, Brandon King with his highest score in T20 internationals. Playing ball on merit. Short outside the off zone, wasn't looking for an onside option. Just hit it in front of that fielder at point. Magnificent. Regal in every sense of the word. Such ease and poise from Brandon King. Yeah, a little too full from Varma. Piece on the ball. A well set batter just hitting through the line. Haven't seen a lot of turn from Tilak Varma. That's it. Oh. The irony of that missed opportunity. Well, a couple of them in the over was that Tilak Varma himself went to a good catch from Brandon King. 160. Yashas Vijayswal. see him bowling almost every morning on this tour of the Caribbean practicing and working on his bowling we've had an over for, or two from Tilak Brahma now Jaiswa scores a level and just one required from the last 13 deliveries and Rubman Powell can exhale it will be a real achievement of substance.